Catherine Maria Cedric titled her 1827 novel after the main character, Hope Leslie. There are so many things that happen before Hope is even introduced. How could she be considered the central character? Hope's character is not established until the seventh chapter. There are so many other characters to consider that it would be ridiculous to automatically think that she is the fundamental character. There is Everell, who is strong and self-willed. There is Faith Leslie, Hope's younger sister, who is kidnapped by the Pequot Indians and marries Onoko. Also Esther Donning, who is a good Puritan girl that does as she's told. The last main character in the novel is Magawiska. She is independent. She is strong. She is self-sacrificing. She is true to herself and to her people. As I said before, Hope is not introduced until the seventh chapter, but her character is talked about in the beginning of the novel. Mr. Fletcher is adopting Hope and her sister Faith because their parents have both died. He leaves for Boston to pick up the girls, and when he arrives, he sends Faith to Springfield but keeps Hope with him. Right before they return to Springfield, there is a horrible massacre at his home, led by none other than Monsonoto, Magawiska, and Oneko's father. Everyone and Faith are kidnapped by the Indians, and everyone else is killed. If Magawiska was not in this novel, there never would have been a raid at the Fletcher home. Everyone and Faith would never have been kidnapped, and Hope would have gotten her wish of finally meeting her new family. Everyone is to be killed, but Magawiska stops it and ends up losing her arm. This is one of the moments you get to see Magawiska's true character. Hope finally enters the novel at this point, but it is seven years later. She is beautiful, spoiled, and gets away with everything. She is sent to Boston to live with Governor Winthrop. Shortly after, Everyone comes home from England and becomes betrothed to Esther. A couple weeks later, Magawiska and Oneko bring Faith to see Hope, but they are ambushed by the Puritans, and Faith and Magawiska are taken prisoner. Magawiska is offered a spot at the governor's home, but refuses it, saying she would rather stay in the dungeon like the prisoner she is. During her trial, she continues to stand up for herself and her tribe. The night after the trial, Everell and Hope join forces to set Magawiska free. When they take the few safe moments they have to say goodbye, Magawiska tells them how lucky they are to have each other. Even though she is in love with Everell, she knows that it would never work. So instead of fighting for him, she lets him go because that is what you do when you truly love someone. This is the last we see of Magawiska. She returned to her father and is joined by Oneko, who has rescued Faith. The family then sets off for far western forests. Meanwhile, Hope and Everell return to town. The next morning, Esther is gone, but she has left a letter for Everell and Hope to tell them that she has left for England and she wants them to be happy together. It seems as if almost everything in this novel happens because of Magawiska. She is the central character. She saves Everell's life. She indirectly saves hope and faith. She is the key factor for every event. None of these events would have been possible without the central character, Magawiska. Going back to the title of the novel, why is it named Hope Leslie and not Magawiska? At the departure of Magawiska's character, there seems to be no hope for her. Her ending is hopeless. She is hopelessly lost.